Hey guys, what's up? My name's The Cool Mike and welcome back with what could be the last episode of Stanley Parable or Stanley Parable 2. So this is another uh, setting option when I start the game. What time is it? Does anyone really truly know? Of course they don't. Nobody knows anything. You and I don't even know each other. We're like strangers. Sure, I, I adjusted all of the game settings to your exact specifications, but who hasn't? It's just what I do, like like a day job. And now the job is over. There is no more information for me to gather. I've gathered all the data on you that I can. And I still don't really know you. And you don't know me. And neither of us no, know what time it is. I guess some settings are just unset unsettable. Unset. But I'm being totally honest. The clock doesn't do anything in the game anyway. You won't have me here when the game starts next time, but that's okay. Gigi games were meant to be played alone. You like being alone, don't you? That's maybe the only permission I really learned about you. Well, it's time for me to leave. There is still one more setting that we need to adjust, but it may take a little time before I'm ready for that. I'm not really in my job description, but that's okay. Perhaps you'll see me again if you can't, if you can't find me. Talk soon. Oh. So, I'm guessing that begin the game. So I'm guessing it's the setting door. So we're gonna go there as well. This is the story of. Okay, we're gonna do that. So, all of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Alright, so first things first. We're not gonna take that because we're gonna do the figure ending. We're gonna do the figure when ending. Stanley came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. So, we're gonna go to the right. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Okay, so... Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. All right, so uh, 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 let me just okay. All right, just making sure that the sounds good. Oops, sorry about that. Okay, so first things first. I thought that uh, this was that I'm not. I wasn't supposed to grab that because of the glitch. But it turns out the right way to do it is basically to jump on the edge. I didn't want to get it on my first playthrough because I thought that at, at some point I'm gonna get to that uh, I'm gonna get to that bridge without jumping this glitch, jumping the edge. But it turns out that's how you do it. So I thought this is where you you, you would come from, but apparently that's where you exit after, or else you die. But apparently this is where you exit after jumping off. So we're gonna grab this. Hopefully we don't fall to our demise or to our death. You're getting close now, Stanley. You've nearly gotten all of the Figler and Marines. Very soon you'll collect the last one. And then the first number will equal the second number. And that will be it. We'll be different people by then. Different in the sense that we used to have none of them and now we have them all you can't go back to when you had no figler anorines none of us can figure anorines really okay oh god okay so i'm guessing this is where we leave we go to this exit 
Oh. Oh, okay. Stanley had now gotten himself so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun from so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun from so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun from so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun from so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun from so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun from so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun from so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun So you didn't think I was actually just a recording, did you? What a silly and trite explanation that would be. All the back and forth between you and me, all the absurd adventures we've been through, and it all turns out I'm just a tape recording? It was all just in Stanley's head. I bet that's the kind of twist you think is revelatory. I bet each and every time you watch a movie where it turns out all to be in the main character's imagination, you must absolutely bolt off the couch in pure shock at the phenomenal and intricate storytelling. It must be so simple to be you. Life being an unending waterfall of surprises and delights. How much more exciting you must find the world than the rest of us do. Ah. <sighs> Now I've become sad. Look what you've done to me. This is all your fault. I didn't do anything. <laughs> okay. All right. So now we only have one figure left to find. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. So technically we're not gonna... When Grab Stanley the came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. So we're get, gonna go here. Wow. Yes, this room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. We're gonna jump up the cliff because I believe the other figure is in the Stanley red door. Stanley was so door. bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Right, so let's not fall toward that. I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. St what? Really? Okay. I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why? I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Okay, so the other figure, if I'm not mistaken, should be here. It's past this point, okay. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Okay, so there's the figure. And there it is. The last Stiggly Wiggly. Stig Savor this moment, Stanley. This is a real accomplishment. This is doing something just for the sake of doing it. Where so many people expect to be rewarded for the most trivial achievements, you've insisted that a job well done is its own reward. I would tell you that I'm proud of you for collecting them all, but that would be like a reward. And we can't have that. So, instead I'll just say, it's done. We're all done here. And now we can go to whatever the hell you were doing before you hunted for figurines. Uh, okay. Oh, what? Stanley, I'm sorry. But I have to put a pause on things. It's just, it's those figurines, those figlers. I haven't stopped thinking about them since you nabbed every last one. Wasn't it just the most intrinsically fulfilling moment of your entire life? Didn't it fill you to the brim with inner richness? Yes, I know we're supposed to be telling a story, but won't you please indulge me with one more trip back to the memory zone? I would Ooh. love nothing more than to revisit the figurines. Just one more time. Oh, great! We get to revisit this again. Stanley found the... <laughs> now remembering when Stanley found the collectibles. Oh, God.
Okay. Oh. Was that the part in the Games Festival? I just said that I will get some award. Okay, good times. Okay. Ah, here's where it all began. The first collectible. Back then, we had no idea of how many of them we'd find. Sure, it said six right there on the screen, but how could we know for certain? We were so innocent. We'll never be like that again, Stanley. Oh, seven. Okay. And here was a second Stan Lorene. You found this one all on your own, just by poking around in the boss's bathroom. You did that, Stanley. I'll be honest. Back then, I had no faith in you to find any of them, let alone six. But you continue to surprise me in all sorts of mundane, unremarkable ways. Okay. Okay, let's do a little quiz. Which of these rooms was the room you found your third mini stand? Can you remember? I'm pretty sure it's under the stairs, right? I could be wrong. Yep. No, 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 no. Under the stairs was the fourth place you found a fig Anley, not the third. Well, I guess perhaps I shouldn't be surprised. Memories like these are so precious and so cherished that oh. they all just sort of blend together, don't they? You know what? If Under the Stairs feels like the third place you found a collectible, then who am I to go making judgments? Okay. So it's supposed to be in the office. I forgot. <laughs> it's been a while. Okay. Let's see. What came next? Oh yes, we found a figly in this pink room. Oh well, I can't actually say I remember being in this room, but it's here in the memory zone, so it must have happened. Okay. Sure. This was the fifth mini stand, and this one was really something special. It was in the warehouse. I remember it so clearly. In fact, because this one is particularly special to me, I made a little video to commemorate the occasion. Enjoy. Oh no. Oh god, here we go again. It's that old school video editing style. Oh god. <laughs> ah, takes you back, doesn't it? I spent a lot of time making that video, but it was eight minutes I wouldn't have spent on anything else. Okay. And then, Stanley, then we came to the last collectible, the final figurine, right here by the red and blue doors. This memory is the most distinct and clear in my mind, perhaps because it was the one that happened more recently than all the others. Who can truly say how the mind works? All I know is that this is the moment where you picked up a figly and I thought to myself, yes, that's all of them. They're all collected. It was a moment unlike any other. Except for the other moments picking up figurines, which it was exactly like. Uh, 
Okay. And then there was no more because we've caught up to the present moment. Nothing left to do but move onward into the future. Goodbye, Memory Zone. Oh. Okay, so that's um, when... No, 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 I'm not done. I'm not ready to move on. Stop the loading screen. Isn't there some way we can stay here, keep enjoying these figurines? Let's just go backwards. We'll do the Memory Zone again from the opposite direction. See how that feels. Okay, sure thing. <laughs> okay, yes, the room with the red and blue doors. I remember this. I must say, of all the figurines we looked at in our initial tour of the Memory Zone, this one is the most distinct and clear in my mind. Let's keep going, I want more. Okay. Going back, I guess. Oh, and here's where I made that video. Don't you remember the video we watched? Please don't. Oh, God. Yes, I love that video. Okay. Oh, I'm so anxious walking on this edge. Almost there. Let's not fall off, please. Although I'm quite curious what happens if you do fall off in this episode, uh, in this part of the game. Still don't remember the pink room, Stanley. Still no memory of this one. Good room, though. A solid room. Okay. These really were a treat to hunt down. You know, if there had been any kind of reward for finding all of these, it really would have muted the intrinsic joy of collecting them. I'm very glad we resisted the temptation. Next one. Okay. Perfectly. Don't you remember? Yes, I remember it too. The past is truly a wonderful thing. Why does anyone ever choose to leave it? Keep going. Okay. I'm guessing we need... And the last but not the this least. This is it. The very first one we found in the exhibit where I introduced you to the figlerines. Oh, I want more memories, Stanley. I want to keep going. What else is there? What came before this? Uh... Okay. What the... Collect them all. Can you find them? Can you find them? Oh god, that's a big figurine. Collectibles. Look, it's the terrible new content that we were originally sold on. I remember hating it back then, but time does put a rosy filter on everything. In fact, I dare say I'm actually quite fond of it now. Look how much fun the past is. I want more. More memories. Okay. Oh, yes! The two doors! Who could have forgotten that? A classic memory, this one. And before everything else, there was your office. Is there anything else? Was there something that came before your office? There's something I feel I can remember. I can remember. I can remember. Okay, I think. Yes, 
I'm remembering something now. I remember before this whole story got started. Back then I was... I was different. I used to make big decisions. I was passionate. I was skeptical. I weighed each decision with profound thoughtfulness. And then somewhere along the way I stopped making decisions. I became lazy and I came up with, well, came up with a character named Stanley to do my thinking for me. He would make the decisions, he would decide which way to go. I would cheer him on as he collected figurines for no reason. Why did I invent Stanley? Was I lonely? Yes, perhaps that's it. Perhaps I needed to imagine I had companionship. And Stanley really did make for a wonderful companion, even if he was a fiction. But uh, I suppose it's grown old. I, I want to think for myself again. I want to go back to how it used to be. Yes, I can be on my own again. I can do it. I'll be stronger this time. I'll take care of myself. I don't need Stanley anymore. Uh -huh. oh, but he truly was so much fun to play with. You know what? Since we're in the memory zone, how about one more good memory? Let's go back just once and give Stanley one more run of the office and then I'll retire him for good. I did enjoy telling his story so very much. Okay, here we go. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Oh, okay, that was interesting. All of his co-workers were gone. What All right. could mean? So... Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. All right, so... Boom, 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 boom. You're no, no, no extra content. So I'm gonna try to see if I could unlock the. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I'm gonna try to see if I can move, can, can do the extra content because that's the only thing that I'm missing. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. Oh, it's 28. I thought but it was... of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Okay, so... I think there are... Oh yeah, there are two more endings that we need to get. The epilogue and then this one. The uh, mind control room glitch. Descending deeper into the building. Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Okay. So, we're gonna glitch our way to this chair. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold, Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Okay. Uh. Yep. Aha! You've made it to the bottom of the mind control facility. Welcome! You see, back when the Stanley Parable first launched in 2013,
getting to the bottom of the mind control facility was a bug that we simply didn't catch during development. And you all sent us lots of photos of it on Twitter and acted very superior about it. And you're all very, very clever. Good for you. Anyway, when it came time to update the game, we knew that we had to do something about this little goof of ours. So here you go. New content. You can call it the bottom of the mind control oh, room God. ending. If that enhances your perception of the value of these updates, isn't that what you crave? New content? Oh, Always God. more content, more content, more, 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 more. And I'm here to give it to you. I'm here to make it seem like we really covered every nook and cranny of the game with secrets and Easter eggs. How about this? We wrote a new piece of music just for this section. You won't hear it anywhere else in the game. Okay. It's a secret that's just for you. That's how special you are. We call this track, Good Job You've Made It to the Bottom of the Mind Control Facility. Well done. Job. You did it. Oh God. Good job. Three, two, one. Good job. You made it to the bottom of the mind control facility. You jumped on the catwalk. You should have been careful. You should have been careful. It used to be a bug, but now it's an ending. Now it's an ending. I believe in you I believe in your ability To cross this barrier And chase your dreams The railings don't mean anything Good job, you did it Good job, you did it Good job, you did it Oh God Good job, you did it 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 Okay. Oh, is that it? All right. All right. So settings. Hmm. Huh, general gameplay field of view mask. Presentation one hand. Huh. Huh. Quit to menu. Let's see. Oh! We got it! We got the epilogue! There you go. This is it, guys. The last one. Epilogue. Many, many years later. It's pretty much like Star Wars. <laughs> oh. Okay, this is the one with the button. I don't even know where I'm going. Okay.
Is this memory zone? Oh, the music. I hear it. That's cool. Yeah, it is the memory zone. In loving memory? Ah, uh, in me- Yeah, in loving memory, oh. It's just ruins. What the? Cooking Nights Blog, review the Stanley Parable 2. Like so many, I enjoyed my time with the original Stanley Parable. Of course, how really disappointed I am with this it, with its sequel, where the first game team with originally the Stanley Parable 2 is not inspired and often insulting to its fan base, rather than expand on what made the first game enjoyable. The sequel appears of its territory nobody asked for. Depot. Who cares? Where are the new endings? What about? The base of Stanley Parable 1 and the middle line. Instead, we got in far side quest collecting figurines. Shouldn't feel incomplete. Collecting all the figurines give you nothing. I must say, though, I found a bucket to the quite comforting. A welcome reprieve rep from. Look, I wonder if this is a real person. And I wonder if the narrator is the, the developer. That would be an interesting uh, twist. What? One more time, cat dog born. That, is that a reference to uh, the Nickelodeon cat dog? Okay. Oh God. Jim. 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 Okay. Stanley Parable developers no more spin-offs, no more sequels. When the Stanley Parable launched a massive accessibility, the creators made plans to build a proper team into an entire franchise, but this kit disastrous critical commercial reception to the Stanley Parable 2 has prompted the developers to rethink their ambition as outlined in the process release day but release day published day. It's clear that more Stanley Parables just now what fans want. It's press release. We thought that we had a vision for the series that players would be excited about, yet it turns out this could not have been farther from the truth. The press release does not reserve the artistic integrity of the original game. And to starting fans with our reckless and insulting editions, the word sorry appears more than 25 times in the press release. If you score speech games three seconds. Get on the green. Okay, subscribe. Sign up for updates. That is this like Yahoo? Real web. Okay. More buttons? Jim. Jim. Whoa. Oh god. Are there more? Oh, there is one more. Almost missed that one. Okay, so... Oh! Stanley. Jim. Jim. Stanley. We found the name that says our name! Stanley. 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 Oh, we found it. I wonder if they're... Jim. 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 Okay, okay.
Okay, so thank God I returned because we found the button that says our name. So it's this one. Stanley. That's cool. That has to be an achievement. Oh, this is the well. The infinite well. Oh god. Whoa. Hello again. It's nice to see you. But it's terrible to learn that there will never be another Stanley Parable game. Did you read what the developer said? Reserve the identity of the franchise? What nonsense. The Stanley Parable is that sacred. We do not need to protect it. Screw the legacy. Let's keep making Stanley Parable games until the sun explodes. Let's run the front this franchise into the ground, let's drag it through the mud and back. And if people hate it, who cares? You see, that the narrator problem, he was so obsessed with the, what people thought of his work. Don't make his mistake. Don't cling to the legacy. Let it burn. It's not hard. It, in fact, let me show you. Together, we are going to make the Stanley Parable tree. I'm excited for that. It's simple. All we do is change the number of the game title screen. But also we need to really dumb subtitle of the game, something loud and gaudy. Go ahead, try combining some random words together and make a new title for our game. Uh, oh, race. Okay, a game of... No, the game of... Stanley Steiny. Sure. Okay, Stanley Steiny. That sounded wrong. The game of Tuesday. The game of love. Sure. The Stanley Parable 3, the game of love. It's absurd, I love it. Every time we start the game, you will advance the number of the sequel by one and then we'll pick a new subtitle. That way the Stanley Parable will never end. And I think in the game itself will change when you do this either. Adding more content sounds like work, no need to do that. It'll just be the same content recycled again and again and again with new title screen. What do you say? Should we go forward with, with this plan? I like it, but I want you to have to say have a say as well. Let's do it. Good, then it's agreed. A new sequel every time you start the game. And you know what? What? Since you're put paid in my idea, I feel like giving you something as well. You see, I noticed that Ritter never found a way to give you the broken achievement, did he? Of course not. I wouldn't expect him to know how. It's been bothering me. Let's fix it. All right, there. The achievement machine is all fixed. You see, I'm on your side. Well, we're in this together. We're going to keep this train rolling. The Stanley Parable cannot end. It cannot. Can only spiral in on itself forever. I must keep the wheel turning. I'm ready. Are you ready? Great. There are only one last thing we need to do. Please enter the current time. It is currently 312. In uh, 312 p.m. on my time. But I cannot confirm sure. <laughs> Please adjust the slider. Yeah. Thank you. Please enjoy Stanley Parable. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. So, we're going to go get the achievement because why not? This is the story. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. 
Oh, new content. Okay, cool, 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 cool. One man, one bucket, one chance to seize their destiny together. Okay. Oh, new content? What does that mean, new content? Hey, this could be the last thing we do in the game. playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. Please, step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh, well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. Wait, Stanley, I've just now realized that bucket you're holding, it's the bucket I've been working on for my sequel. How did you get your hands on it? Isn't this the preview to the sequel? How do you have the bucket already? This, this makes no sense at all. Eh, yeah. magic. Hold on. Did I already show you my ideas for the sequel? I don't remember doing that at all. You're seeing things all out of order. All right, all right, let's see, it's the jump circle. Okay, I don't have any more jumps, unfortunately. The infinite hole, the giant door, did you see them already? Stanley, none of them are ready yet. I'm still developing them. They're not even close to finished. How did they look when you saw them? Were they captivating? Were they exciting? Did they fulfill on the promise of everything that a sequel to Stanley Parable could possibly be? Had I figured out how the hell to make a sequel to this game? Okay. Wait, if you're still carrying the bucket around with you, if the bucket is interesting to you, that means I must have made it correctly. Yes, you carrying the bucket with you everywhere is exactly what I set out to accomplish. The bucket is the exciting and captivating new content that I promised. I did it! I win! I made a sequel to the Stanley Parable! Yes, the sign is correct. Thank you for enjoying the new content. Thank you for taking the bucket everywhere with you. Clinging tightly to the bucket, never letting it go. It means I've won. It means I am victorious over the gamers. It is a sweet salve of victory on my soul. Thank you for enjoying the new content. The bucket is the Stanley Parable now. They are one and the same. There is no Stanley Parable without the bucket. I win, 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 I win. Okay. Oh, the, uh, okay. So that's the not the meeting room. Yes, that's where everyone would be. Stanley just needed to get to the meeting room, and from then on, he would never be alone ever again. Okay, let's not get the bucket this time. Return to the Stanley Parable Expo Hall. Okay. Hopefully I don't have to redo all of that. I You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley Parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra-deluxe version has turned out to be. The original Stanley Parable was a landmark. 
and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever, The Stanley Parable 2. Yay. So here yes, we go. You see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully fledged sequel. An entirely new experience built from the ground up. Why there are so many possibilities. It could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. Okay. I'll be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. Okay. Hey. Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. All right. First things first. Okay, I'll be honest. I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. But I'm undecided on Get Well Someday and Happy Twelfth Birthday. Which would you go with? You know, Sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Get well someday it is. Okay. Uh... Or actually, maybe I should have gone with... No. No, I've made my decision. We're moving on. The Stanley Parable 2. Achievement. Pre-achievement, get... Yours right now, pull the lever, receive your new chip, no more steps, it just works, get yours right now. Alright, so hopefully it now works as the... Now here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement okay. that got left in the game on accident? Well, I'm developing a technology to oh simply God. give you the achievement. Yes, you see, you'll come to this lever and when you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. It's as simple as that. As you can see, the machine is not working yet since... What? Wait, what in the holy hell is going on? You've got the achievement? Why did the machine work? Stanley, I didn't fix it. I didn't do anything to it. I swear, it was broken just a second ago. Who fixed it? Is someone here? Are we being watched? Oh, God. Composure? Composure. Yes, as you can see, the machine is working as normal as I intended. It, um, it truly speaks to the awe-inspiring magic of the Stanley Parable 2. Breathe. Just breathe. With that achievement, that's achievement achieved. Okay, so that's the achievement. Can't, there's a hallway here for some reason. Okay. So that's done. Let's get the figure and then... The what else? What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? Okay, the collectible figure. And then the settings door. Out of order, you've been here already. No way. But, but, oh man, all right, let's go to the settings door, because that's the only... Calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable 2, now that's an artistic statement right there. 
It's future-oriented. It screams progress and innovation and long-term franchising potential. Okay, so... Let's go here. For the Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, what do players really want? And of course, the first and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized and validated as people. So with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Isn't that wonderful? I wonder if it's gonna say Stanley. Jim. Nope. Sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, the button only says the name Jim. Really? But of course, in the final game, this button will say your name, whatever name that is. Here, let's have you role play as Jim. I thought they were gonna change it. The full experience of this feature. Just play along. I promise you'll love it. Okay, here we go. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind, forget whoever you are, and simply become a person named Jim. Jim. Whoa, 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 hold on. I wasn't finished setting up the backstory. If you don't properly roleplay as Jim, then you'll never understand the impact of this button. Otherwise, it's just a stupid button that says somebody else's name. Okay, we're doing it again, and this time let me finish first. <clears throat> <clears throat> now, allow yourself to become Jim. Jim. All right, fine, whatever. It's just a meaningless button that says Jim. Are you happy now? Get out of here. I'm done with this button. Why don't you go humiliate me in front of a different feature that I worked very hard on? Uh, I thought they were gonna do a Stanley. I thought they were gonna do Stanley. That would have been interesting because I found the button that says Stanley. Maybe I'll only let people named Jim play the Stanley Parable too. They would appreciate what I've created here. <laughs> okay. You heard Jim in the game? Okay. Oh. An epilogue would be fun, wouldn't it, Stanley? Yes, yes, it will go at the end of the... Um, uh, well, we'll figure that out later. So we already saw the epilogue. I want to know the settings door. There is one door that I want to go. And that is the settings world champion. Are you kidding me? It's still locked. Uh, all right. Uh, begin quit menu. All right. So yeah, pretty much that is it. That is the last episode of Stanley Parable. Apparently now three. The game of love. That's quite clever. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy this game. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like. Subscribe now uh, uh, Subscribe now to show your support if you guys want to try the game or play the game for yourself I'll be leaving the game's link in the description down below. So go check that out And yeah, I uh, thank you guys so much for uh, what you call for joining me in this journey and as, and as always I will see you guys next time with another brand new video. This is the cool Mike signing off Goodbye <laughs>